Fuck it. Fuck have a go, I've got to have a go. I'd like to see Salford get right into Hulk. They are, you know, they've come from the other side. I'd like to, them to see them get into their ribs and um, just make it so hard for them. Fuck it. Fuck have a go, I've got to have a go. You know what you do, mate? Speak now before it really starts to hammer it down. Uh, two of our stars of the past. Will you show your appreciation, please, for Shane Hansen and Martin Burkett? That's it. Give yourself a round of applause as well. Uh, you can share at the mic. Yeah. Um, Martin, first of all, before it the rain starts coming down, you were saying how great this is, this fan zone. I love it. Set up. This could come into its own when we get nicer weather in a few months' time. Absolutely. No, I think it's a great concept. Hopefully it'll build and hopefully the weather will be kind up for the duration of the season. And what, I don't know if you were here last week, what have, what do you make of this Salford side and uh, what chances they may have this year? I think it's going to be, look, it's, it, it's going to be another tough season. I think it's going to be a close season. I don't think there's a lot between a, a, a lot of teams. Um, first two results have shown that, not just with our results, but with other teams' results as well. You know, since last night, you know, scraped a win against Lee. Lee get beat off Huddersfield. We we should have won against Leeds, and we won last week, which is great. And hopefully, we'll win this afternoon. Yeah, if you want, there, there's place, there's, there's places to, to shelter. Um, I don't think it's rain, actually. I think it's hail. Yeah, it is. This. Welcome to Summer Rugby League. Uh, let's, before we get really hammered, let's talk briefly, and then we can get inside as well about today's game. What are you expecting today? I'd like to see. Um, well, it's obviously it's going to be a tough game, but. I'd like to see Salford get right into Hulk. They are, you know, they've come from the other side. I'd like them to see them get into their ribs and um, just make it so hard for them. Pick the fence and uh, get on top and um, and not let them into the game and not let them get away. Um, listen, they, they, they look good, but what, what have they done in the last few years uh, compared to what I think Salford have done, which is... Uh, surpassed themselves and well given their supporters and fans um, you know more than they'd ever hoped right. for uh, Adam how much uh, are, you, are you enjoying this first of all Adam, your first experience of the fan zone I know you're enjoying the surroundings yeah it's brilliant um, <laughs> typical sulfur weather a bit like Wigan but uh, the British weather's brilliant and always comes out when we're playing rugby league this is what we love uh, let's let's have a quick word about uh, about today. What have you made of Salford's start to the season? Two games, one win, one defeat. Yeah, it was a, a good win last week. We grinded out, but I think we deserve better and more against Leeds. Uh, discipline, discipline led us down, but we've worked on that and uh, hopefully keep that going today and get the win against Salford. Yeah, I fancy us. A team bang in form though in terms of opponents today. Couldn't be much trickier. Uh, no, uh, they've got Mikey Lewis and Tyrone May, who's uh, steady in the ship, so I think this plays into our hands this weather though. Uh, we're looking forward to it. If we can control Ryan Ole at the backfield then we should go far to win in the game. Thank you. Uh, Ole, let's have a quick word with you. You miss out again today, when are we going to see you back? Um, I've got a meeting with the uh, consultant in two weeks time to see if I'm good to go then and I'll uh, just do what I can in, in the meantime, get, it, get my ankle strong as, as I can and, and just go from there really, it's up to, it's up to the specialist, it's out of my hands really. Uh, so yeah, a couple of weeks hopefully, but uh, maybe a bit longer.
pleased to welcome Mark up to the stage for his Man of the Match presentation. So ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by NGA Crane, Crane Hire, Mark's team. Congratulations, first of all, fantastic performance, really resilient, I think is probably the way to sum up that. Yeah, it was. It were uh, one of them games that were, we were always going to be a bit gritty, probably weren't, weren't great on the eye, but at the end of the day, the, the two points were all that mattered. Uh, we were down from struggling against KR, I think, so just, just to get the winner at this time of year, is, that it's all that matters, so we're more than happy to get the two, and then obviously we've got a big one next week. And I think, you know, Particularly when Dion got sent in in the second half there, and there's kind of an expectation that it will become more difficult. I think we really took that out there defensively, in particular. Yeah, I think, that, I think it's just a natural characteristic of what we are as a team. I think since since I've since I've been here anyway, some of the roles really push as far as that that character when when our backs are against the wall, you step up and you, and you, and you do what's needed. So. I think everybody did that, everyone did that when we were at Leeds, everyone did that when we were at we Castle from last week. It was, it was just one that seems to come naturally once you play in a whole world team. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing to have in the locker. And for you personally, you know, a great start to the season, both with the big band and also in the field. How are you feeling about your performances? Yeah, I'm sad. I think uh, we've had uh, it's, it, it were a, real, a good pre-season uh, on the body. I thought, I Felt like it felt really good coming into the season, so hopefully I can uh, just keep knocking out performances and, and just, yeah, just keep moving. Keep moving. And I think for your goal kick, particularly in the first half down the bottom end with all your friends in that stand there, you seem to take a great deal of satisfaction at seeing those kicks go over. Well, to be fair, they're all right, obviously. They, uh, I, I give them enough stick, they, they give it back, it's one of them, it's part of the game, so I always enjoy giving it when, uh, when I'm playing against them. And you talk about next week, obviously, tight game at Leeds, just came out the wrong side. Last week, hung on, probably, you know, closer than it should have been in tonight. Fantastic performance. What is it we need for, for next week at Saints? Yeah, we've got to, we, we've got to play for eight minutes. I think when, when you're at Leeds, you can't, you can't just put on a lot of effort for uh, 60, 70 minutes and then, and then think that you're going to get a result because at the end of the day, you can give 170 minutes against Saints. So, the game and they'll know by you know, it's just not going to work. You've got to, you've got to do everything 100% for, for 80 minutes. And we'll, be, we'll be looking at them all week and we're going to be there and, and obviously give it our all over and come out on the other side and see a few changes. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, a superb team performance tonight, but epitomised by, by Mark's performance.